If you've tried entering the fields of hatred while under level 100, you'll probably realize that it can be a brutal experience trying to gather the seeds of hatred. In this video, I'll show you how to easily extract tens of thousands of seeds of hatred while avoiding all of the high level 100 players who are currently no life hunting down anyone who is a lower level than them. Just like this guy here, completely ignoring the other level 100 he couldn't kill, and then hard chasing me. Not today, Bob. Not today. So firstly, we need to talk about two things. How can we get the seeds of hatred quickly? And how can we be best prepared for the inevitable situation of a level 100 coming to get you whilst you're purifying the seeds of hatred whilst you're at your most vulnerable? Items like the Scroll of Chaos have a five minute cooldown, so you can't rely on these items to teleport you away every time because five minutes is actually a long time. In answer to the question, how can we get the seeds of hatred quickly? There is an argument to be made for blood marking yourself and going around collecting the blood mark chests as they give you a lot of seeds. But the reality is everyone who isn't flagged will then also be trying to end you so it's not really the best choice in my opinion. For me it's all about maximizing your time. All you need to do is ride around on your horse looking for one of two things. Either elite enemies with a glow around them or ideally with some kind of affix next to their name like these guys. These elites tend to drop the most seeds of hatred for the least effort and the least time. Any other mobs you see whilst riding around without an elite should be completely invisible to you. Just ride on by until you find what you're looking for. If you're riding around on your horse and rinsing repeat this method, you will build up thousands if not tens of thousands very, very quickly. And if you ever see the seething abomination appear on the map, go for it immediately because if you can take it out, you will get a disgusting amount of seeds of hatred. Mobs you see without an elite should be invisible to you. Just ride on by until you find what you're looking for. The other thing that you should be looking out for is events. Now there are a few different types of events, some of them are timed, some of them are just slay all enemies. I would always just check, once you go into an event space, if you see something that says slay all enemies, absolutely commit to that process. Because you're going to get a ton of seeds of hatred from completing this, not to mention experience as well. My advice when you're doing an event like this is always be ready to run away. Always be ready to get on your horse and just leave the situation as soon as you see someone. And as long as you're thinking like that, no one should really get the drop on you. So assuming that you're able to then gather a large amount of seeds of hatred, the next bit is probably the biggest problem that most people really struggle with. You need to actually purify your seeds of hatred. And when you start to purify your seeds of hatred, everyone on the map will be aware of your location, which makes you incredibly vulnerable. So here are my tips to make sure that not only do you survive, but you're able to extract as many seeds of hatred as possible. My first tip is actually keep an eye on the kill feed. By keeping an eye on the kill feed, you'll be able to understand how active the zone is after only a couple of minutes. Perhaps it's maybe just one player seem to be getting all of the kills. If that's the case, that gives you massive amounts of confidence and information for the next step. If it does seem to just be one player killing most of the lobby, all you have to do is elite grind, running around on your horse, avoiding them as much as you can, and until you get the notification that someone has started their ritual. Because there's only one player wiping the lobby, the odds are that it's them, so you need to immediately run to your nearest ritual site and start trying to extract. If you wait about 10 seconds, then they're going to have enough time to finish their ritual and get over to you and end you, so you need to move immediately as soon as you get this notification from whatever you're doing. And this moves into my next tip. Once you activate your ritual at this point, for the first few seconds, you need to keep opening up your map and checking to make sure that their ritual is still in progress. There's a very good chance that they're so confident and kill hungry that they're just going to immediately abandon their ritual to charge directly towards you because by abandoning a ritual site they're not going to lose any of their seeds of hatred. So if their ritual ends early you need to just get on your horse and ride off in the opposite direction. Continue the same process as before, killing elites, waiting for the next ritual to begin. Normally because the last time they abandoned their ritual to run over to try and get you, you disappeared. So they know that you're going to do this again. So there's a very, very strong chance that if you do this, they're not going to come for you a second time. And then boom, 10k seeds done in one go. Now, on the flip side of this, if you start extracting seeds and their ritual continues, that doesn't automatically make you safe. Generally speaking, there are multiple level 100 players roaming around in the fields of hatred looking for someone easy to kill. Sometimes they're in groups together and sometimes they're running around on their own. So this is where my next tip comes into the play. As soon as you've activated your ritual, what you need to do is kill off the mobs that appear until your ritual is about 60% completed. The whole time that you're doing this, make sure you don't use any skills that drain resource or any cooldowns just in case you need to hit a skill later. These mobs are really, really weak and they're not going to hurt you and they're definitely not going to kill you. Once the ritual is about 60% complete, you need to get 
on your horse. Once you get on your horse, you'll notice your field of view actually increases by quite a bit, so you can see things from much further away than other players. This makes it impossible for another player to get the jump on you. Whilst you're doing the ritual purifying the seeds and on your horse, you're going to need to run around the edge of the zone to avoid your horse becoming scared of the mobs and kicking you off. If the horse kicks you off and a player comes along, you're dead. So just make sure you keep running around the edge of the zone. And if you see a player, then just hit sprint, run off in a different direction, rinse and repeat this action at the next site. If you don't see a player, then stay there and enjoy the seeds you've just purified. So this is a completely tried and tested method. I'm getting tens of thousands of seeds every single time I go into the Fields of Hatred and I'm not dying, even when there's groups of level 100s griefing everyone and I'm only level 84, level 85. So I guess there's probably a summary to be said here in the fact that you should only really be hunting down elites and elite mobs. Anything else you should avoid. Do as many events as you can, but always be wary that the uh, level 100s are going to be coming for you. Don't be the first person to purify your seeds. As soon as you see the player in the game who's killing the most people purifying theirs, make sure you then go immediately after them. And then continuously check in your map to make sure they're not abandoning their extraction to come and kill you. Things like the Scroll of Chaos are only temporary, so you can't rely on it. And once you've got to about 50-60% in your extraction, get on your horse and run around the outside of the circle so you can see further away to make sure no one can jump up on you. If you follow all of those things, you should be getting tens of thousands very, very quickly. If you enjoyed the video today, please don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, if there's anything you want to say or any questions or any comments, please just throw them down in the comment section and I'm looking forward to reading them. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll uh, see you on the next one.